How's it going, everybody? My name is Drone, and welcome back to Guys Talk Radio. This is Guys Talk About Things, and today I have with me Soaring Moon. Hello. Well, that was an interesting intro. A lot less, uh... uh how do I... A lot less kaboom. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot... Well, that was really awkward. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyhow, um, today's episode is revolving almost entirely about... Persona 5. Yep. And its release date um, to Japan being... 9-15-2016. September 15th of this year. Yes. So um, we can expect probably an American release maybe like a week after, if not same day. <laughs> if not if not same day. They're, they're going to get a hold of us in like August to be like, hey guys, you're getting it on the 16th. Atlas Games just works that way. So I watched the trailer with you, and the trailer looks great. Yeah, um, the game I like some of the characters in there. Yeah, well, the game looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Um, they have a, a character, it seems, that um, they have one character that's an aspect of each decade. Yeah, like, kind of. Like that orange-haired girl, she re represented like this this uh, decade. Yeah. And then you had, before that, was um, the whole the whole game's like disco, 80s noir-themed <laughs> yeah. kind yeah, very, of. Um, very 70s and 80s themed, which is kind of cool because it's... A lot of graffiti-esque Well, the cool thing about it artwork. is... Japan is still kind of like that, and the, the game itself is set in modern day Japan. Yeah, uh, they've made that very clear. The other thing is that, li like I said, the gameplay is beautiful, but the the greatest thing is the from what I've seen is the transitions. Yeah, the, yeah, the transitions and um, a lot of the uh, the battle theme. Right. Yeah, a lot of the music in there is very disco. Yes, it's true. Uh, I I really want to play this. <laughs> it's it's interesting. It's I'm um. Well, the now, thing you is, had mentioned that it's going to be a Final Fantasy killer. <laughs> yes, I I believe it's going to be a Final Fantasy um, killer. Well, I'm going okay. to disagree with you for the first time there, because um, uh, Final Fantasy VII is being re-released. Right, and the problem with that is that what if they... The series it? is already dead, oh. but like they're remaking old games. Yeah, well, they're remaking everyone, well, everyone else's favorite. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, I've already pointed that out in the past. If you want to know, go back to the... Dude, Final Fantasy Whatever. VII is great. You need to play it. Mm. I've played it. No, you haven't. I hate it. <laughs> you haven't played it all the way. <laughs> um, Why do you hate it? It bores the shit out of me. That's... It's not boring. Not to mention Chrono Trigger looks better. That's just me. <laughs> no, it's truth. <laughs> Chrono, yeah. Chrono Trigger is a 16-bit game, and it looks better than something on a, you know... Well... It was the it was their first big attempt at 3D. Okay, they could have tried harder. PS One, really? Have you seen? Okay, okay. If you're gonna make this argument, have you seen Final Fantasy VII compared to Final Fantasy VIII or IX? Yes, yeah. they were re released later. It was their second and third attempts at 3D modeling on and PS One. A lot better. <laughs> have you seen P? Uh, have you seen um, uh, Final Fantasy X? Yes. PS Two. See, that was their fourth attempt, and they were fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Um, unfortunately, they, they couldn't beat Chrono Trigger in the fact that Chrono Trigger still had a better storyline. As for, um... <laughs> as for what I've been Persona. Told, from what I've been told about Persona is that Persona has amazing storylines, not to mention... You mentioned earlier that Persona is was going to be a PlayStation-only exclusive. Yes, it is going to be released. Uh, right well, now it is whereas, um, announced Whereas Persona 3 was, like... Almost every console, it was cross-platform. <laughs> yeah, uh, right now Persona Five has been released as being released on the PlayStation Three and PlayStation Four. I don't think that'll be. Um, it won't hold out that long. Yeah, but this is Atlas. They're they're not telling us everything. Right. Atlas is notorious for not telling you everything. I mean, it's probably going to have a PC release. I don't think it's going to move to the Xbox platform. Uh, it will I, most certainly be on Wii eventually. I'm going to tell you that uh, whenever. They were talking about um, like a bunch of a uh, uh, list of new games to come out in Japan was shown a couple weeks ago. Yep. And there was a a random title on this list between like August nineteenth uh, and August and uh, September twenty fifth. Yep. That was simply titled um, "Kids Yellow Umbrella" or "Children's Yellow Umbrella." Sorry. Huh. <laughs> Which. Um, is really funny because somebody was like, uh, so this, so obviously Persona 5 is coming out between this time and this time because, you know, this random game got announced called Children's Yellow Umbrella and nobody's producing a game under this name. 
Uh, it's not been trademarked for a name. So a it's game. Persona. So it's Persona. And so he was like, it's Persona. We know it's Persona because it's Atlas. They do these kind of things. And the, uh, the really weird thing is that I'm really up talking this game. It looks fantastic and blah, blah, blah. But I've never actually played any of the other games. You have. Oh, I haven't either. Really? You haven't? No, I've never played a Persona game in my life. Oh, that's I've interesting. I've watched a Let's Play of it from beginning to end. <laughs> oh, okay. That's what you were telling me. <laughs> I know how the game is played. Sorry. It's been, it's been two years since we talked about this. Right. Um, I couldn't remember if uh, you said I've played it or somebody else. You watched somebody else. And I also know Myla, who, like, is all well, up on that game. Uh, Clarivu is also a huge fan. I know. Um, th- this, that's well, well the... she threw it in my face. Not Claire. But, um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Clarivu is... Yeah, where the... I, I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, the games look fantastic. I kind of want to go back and play some of the older games now. Yeah. Um, I suggest Persona 3. Only because all the summons are done by shooting yourself in the head. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been told about that. <laughs> and and the, har- the last boss fight is like a 12-stage boss fight. And talking about that, I would like to bring up that... Uh, I, I've been told recently about uh, Clara Vu's. Yeah really particular uh, love of this franchise. I didn't know that she liked these games as much as she did. But the weird thing is, is that even as somebody who's never played the games, I know one thing about Persona that, like, everyone knows, and that is that uh, Persona has a lot of satirical comedy and yeah. really dramatic. And, and it's, uh, like, it's... But it's well, very Japanese comedy. Yeah, it's over, <laughs> it's a, a lot o- over of hyper-sexualized... No, no, over everything. Yeah. <laughs> that's, hyper-violence. That, I think that's what you're looking for, is over everything. <laughs> well, um, yeah, but no, uh, in specifically in Persona 3, it's um, very sexually themed. That, very game. sexually themed. All of them are, um, from what I understand. And mm-hmm. I was talking to Claire about, uh, Claire Avu about this, and the thing is is that I told her, I was like, yeah, those games are really over And she is and the most innocent person. Oh, man, yeah, it's imaginable. crazy. Yeah. Like, insane. Uh, and she goes, I told her, I was like, well, obviously it's going to have, you know, some kind of random sexual themes. And she was like, what? The games have sexual themes? And I went, what? Have you, <laughs> have you, have you, you've played them, right? You told me you played them. And she goes, yeah, I played all of them, like all the way through. And I go, what? <laughs> You're so <laughs> she's innocent. Just, she's just so innocent that she doesn't realize that there's a lot They're of all sexual All of the things. underlying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just random... Fetishist kind of material. Right. Right. <clears throat> oh, that was gross. Anyway. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, yeah. um, so we can expect to release September 15th. I'm going to say, uh, for those of you uh, who... In America, probably September 22nd. Something. I will, I will say I agree with that completely. Now, I'm not going to guarantee it, because that's not good to do. Right. We can guarantee the 915 in yeah. Japan. 915 in, in Japan. In American guaranteed. release, you can expect Atlas um, being the company that they, they are, are to release it in America a week later, or say... Yeah, exactly. Because they're usually really quick on that. And for a, a release as big as, uh, as Persona 5 is going to be, or as how, much, how, much, how much hype they have for the game. Right. Um, that they're probably going to backstock like three oh, yeah. or four million copies, yeah, and then send it all over worldwide at the same time. That's why I would do if I were that company. Now, now the one thing that I haven't heard anything about is uh, recently uh, there have been a couple of companies talking about not region locking their discs. Yep. And I'm I'm almost positive with Atlas being the kind of company it is, they may be. Well, it'll sell more copies that. anyway. Yeah. So it's just a good money money making scheme. We're we're gonna have to look forward to that though. We're gonna have to see because if they stop region locking discs, yeah, that that completely stops. Uh, well, censorship mainly because a lot of their competitors are doing digital downloads anyway. Right. Like a lot of the time, you don't even need discs anymore because everyone has access to the internet. Right. Uh, and if you guys are wondering, I am expecting, I do agree with you on the fact that they're probably going to change it from just being a PlayStation exclusive. The reason why they're doing I, that I is it, because... I think at least we taxed. Well, I'm, I'm Nintendo honestly, taxed. I'm going to say I agree with the, with the Wii, and I agree with people going, please bring this to Steam. Right. Because there's then, a huge number of people that are going, I have a computer that can run it, but I don't have a PlayStation 4, which is what I'd want to play it on. Right. You know. And I'm pretty sure uh, Persona's on Steam. Yeah, I'm, 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 I don't don't quote me on that. I'm, we can I'm look pretty it up. sure it is. <laughs> you could look it up. It's not a problem. Yeah. But you can do that later. And, but yeah, as information for the game comes out, we will definitely be continuing to update. Yep. 
All right, well, I think that we've talked enough and rambled on about how beautiful the game looks. Yep. It looks, it's it's very, it sounds it's got great. a, it looks great. Um, a graffiti theme to it, which is interesting. Uh, why don't we use what you said earlier? It It is very Jet Set Radio. Very Jet Set Radio. Which is awesome. All right, well, see you guys later. Have a nice night.